get the first goals tonight. We just you couldn't really ask for too much more. Like a lot of good things happened there. Yeah, you, you go. You, you don't want to sit on a bad one for, for yeah, a week, right? right? So you know, real happy with it. Uh, you know, for those guys, Augustinelli, uh, Snow, D. Simone, a little bit of breakout. Ryan Campbell had, you know, at least one assist, yeah. but, but had to play a great game. So, just real happy for those guys that, you know, in the lineup, out the lineup, lim limited minutes. You know, it can be times where you feel like, you know, the, the whole world's against you, but, you know, they're, they're great teammates and great players, and, you know, I'm real proud of those guys. Sure. Just so one other thing. What are you going to do now as far as, is this it? Are you going to send everybody home, or what's the plan as far as that? Plan? Yeah, we're, we're done now. We're full shutdown. Guys can go home now or go home okay. tomorrow, and then uh, we'll be back at it on the 27th. Uh, in the first period, I mean, you're up 5 nothing. Kingston scores a goal, and then they get the five-minute power play. Uh, and the game could have gotten away from you there. Um, you were able to, like, how were the guys able to just reel them in and keep their composure? And it was an emotional night, obviously, and not like Kingston back in that game, because, I mean, it's 5-1, five, five, they get the five-minute power play. You could have easily uh, let them back in, given the circumstances. Of this week. For sure, you know, uh, for sure. It was uh, the right call, unfortunately, I thought. And that's a five-minute major, so, I mean, you're going to be killing it for five minutes regardless. So. It's a funny league, uh, big leagues can go away all the time, you know, wisdom and right, you know, especially are very strong players with the ability to, you know, make an impact every game. So just great job by RPK to kill four minutes of it there and then draw a penalty and, and you know, even it up and to score four on four first minute of the second, you know, is uh, just great momentum for us and the, the boys just wouldn't be denied tonight. And lastly, uh, how do you think Sprawlia played tonight after being thrown in here? What gives you confidence that he'll be able to carry the load effectively after how great Tucker's been all season for you? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, I have a ton of confidence in Sprags. I mean, from last year to going into camp this year, you know, I, I believe that he can be a number one goalie in this league. And, you know, I, I thought he showed it tonight. Again, it's, it's not easy for, for everybody to play, but especially for, for Sprags. But, you know, the goalies are fraternity and they're brothers. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, uh, part of Christian was, was, you know, did it for Tucker tonight, but they're a great team and, and they work hard. And, uh, you know, I have all the confidence in the world that you know, Christian's going to continue to do a great job. All right, thanks, Bill. What's the prognosis that the doctors have told you about Tucker? Like, what kind of, I've never heard of this kind of injury. Like, yeah. must, there must be some unknown, but what have they, what have they told you? Yeah, it's a, it's a fake, uh, it's a freak in, uh, injury, obviously. Uh, you know, you can do it 10 times. Same injury wouldn't happen, but uh, it's obviously a severed quad muscle, so that was the reason for most of the blood. Um, so first and foremost, the muscle has to heal back, and then he has to work through scar tissue. So I mean, he needs you know six eight weeks of just relaxing, you know, making sure everything stays stable, and, and then it goes from there. So it's certainly a it's a lengthy road for him. Um, you know, I'm not holding out. You know, I'm not writing off the chance that maybe he's back uh, for the playoffs. You know, realistically, probably won't be playing, but. You know, we, there's a chance he might be back. I mean, either way, uh, he's going to bounce back, whether it's late in this season or, or, or next season. You know, he's going to make 100% recovery. It just takes time. And, you know, for him, he just can't push it. He's got to he's got to listen to doctors, take his time, and then when he's able to start make those big jumps, I know he works so hard, he's so focused, he'll do all the right things. Um, I, it's hard to kind of put into words how good he's been. Kind of, um, I mean, I'm sure he didn't come out of nowhere for you, but for like fans and people watching hockey, you know, all of a sudden it's like you guys have a goal. No kidding. I mean, he's, you know, we're very high on him out of his draft year. Uh, you know, I know Joe has loved him since he, you know, since Tucker was 14 and drafted him, signed him right away. Um, you know, he's a guy we believe. He, he's his 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 focus, um, the way he seems to calm down when when the pressure really gets gets you know, cranked up on us, it's unbelievable. You know, the, the mental stability uh, for a goalie, it's what you want, you know, confidence when the chips are down. That's exactly what Tucker has. You know, he really has a lot of similarities to Alex Nedeljkovic. You know, guys who are in that six feet, six one range, incredibly athletic, incredibly poised. So, you know, a horrible bounce, horrible break for Tucker, um, but again, it's adversity, it's part of his story, and it's gonna make him a stronger person. And when you're talking to him like today, what kinds of things are you, what, what, what do you, what do you talk about, just, you know, um, he's part of the team and, and, and his attitude or, or what, what, oh, what I, are those, how these conversations go? Well, I think, uh, you know, after last week, the, this incredible outpouring of support from, mm -hmm. you know, everybody all over the hockey world, it seems, has been amazing. And our players have been there, you know, not non-stop talking to him, visiting him. So I think he probably feels, you know, more part of his family now than he ever has, you know, before. So today when I was talking to him, just... How's it going? I know we saw a specialist this morning, so want to see how that goes. And 
you know, it's real quick. It's just checking in, letting them know that, you know, we're, we're still thinking about them and, and we, we miss him. And, you know, I think from the effort and their bounce back from the guys, obviously, you know, we're a really, we're a really tight team. And at some point he'll return this year, right? Yeah. Do, do his rehab. That, oh, for sure. Right. Yeah, he'll be back in, you know, six or eight weeks, whenever it is, mid to late January. He'll be yeah. back and then he'll start doing his rehab here. Yeah, because he just needs rest right now more than anything. He might as well do that at home. 100%. I mean, if it was September, maybe he would stay here, but it's right before Christmas. So, yeah, he's going here. You know, he just goes home with his family. Uh, just got to relax. And then when he's back, uh, you know, he'll be back and, and get uh, back to work here. All right, thanks a lot. Bro. No problem. Thanks, guys. We'll have a great, great yeah, holiday. Have a great Christmas.